Hi guys, so today's video is kind of a random sporadic one that I wasn't really expecting to make. My area is usually like the last to see dolls and I know a lot of us feel that way, but like I live in a very very rural area of Virginia. I'm talking like very rural. Now I will say this town is bigger than the one I grew up in because they actually have a post office and, and like stuff like that. I wasn't expecting to find anything. I will say the nice thing about where I live is it's very centralized. So a bit south of us, we have one store or one town that has a Walmart. And then like right over from them, about, about 10 minutes, is another town that has another pretty decent sized Walmart and a Target. And then if you go north of me, there's a pretty big town that has like two Walmarts and a Target. So I've been really lucky on finding clearance dolls. If you guys have followed me on Instagram, you already know that. Um, so I went this week really just kind of expecting to see if there were more clearance dolls or stuff that didn't clearance even lower, um, or if there was any, anything left really. And I got really lucky. I went, to, I kind of checked the app and I saw that the Walmart South of me supposedly, this is important later, but supposedly had, um, three of Sunshine Girl, like four of Midnight BB, and then it had zero Winter Break, zero of any of the Rainbow High stuff. I go there and I did, I did find Midnight BB. So we're gonna open her today. I looked everywhere and there were no Sunshine Girl at all on the floor. Like the app was completely wrong because they had winter break dolls. But like, here's a weird thing. Both the Walmarts I went to had the winter break dolls, but they only had Skylar, Ruby and Violet. And they did not have tags for the other three either. Um, and they had the car of course, but they didn't have like the, the fashion closet or any of that yet. They had the tag for that, they had the tag for Jet, but no tags for the other three of the Rainbow High dolls. So I don't even know because I know other people have found them on the other side of the country in Walmart, like um, Sunny and Jade and Poppy. Um, and the weird thing is those are the three I want the most. So I actually just walked out of the store and didn't even buy any of the winter break. It's a weird thing for me with the winter break um, Rainbow Highs just because like I don't, I'm not gonna keep all the skis and stuff and unless somebody's willing to buy them, they're just gonna go in the junk box in my attic of doll stuff I can't bring myself to actually throw in the trash can, but don't actually want either. Do you guys have that? Cause I have that. I, I probably have multiples of that. So it's really one of those things where like, um, I was kind of mad because I really wanted to get Sunshine uh, Girl and Midnight Baby and open them together. And so I went to the one that's like 10 minutes over, like the next town over. Their targets really didn't have anything. They were still clearancing, but like all the good stuff was gone and they hadn't put out new stuff yet. Um, but I went to their Walmart and guess who I did find? Now, this is funny that I found her at all or the winter break dolls because when I checked the app, it just said unknown for all the other stores around me. Like everything except for the one closest to me all said unknown. So I actually had to go and like manually look for them. And I know some people have said that they're not even where they're supposed to be. They're not necessarily in the doll aisle or in the correct aisle. So like, trust me, I scoured stores. Um, if you check out my Instagram, you'll see a bunch of the other dolls I found, like the Be Kind dolls, which I was shocked because they're massive they're like the length of my forearm practically um and i thought they were gonna be like fail fix size but like very much not like they're bigger than rainbow high even um some of the new barbie extras were out which i'm definitely gonna be picking up those i still want to get some more lol omg tweens so like i'm not in a huge rush to find the new rainbow high stuff but it would be nice i just feel kind of awkward paying 40 dollars for like you know, the winter break dolls, I think they're like 36, 37 and some change, but we're just gonna say 40 because by the time we pay tax here in America, like that's what we're looking at. And it really put me off because like, for what? I mean, the doll and the two outfits are really nice, but I could get that for like, what were they? 26, 27, $28. Um, so you're telling me the skis cost like $20 extra? No, thank you. I don't really whatever. So anyway, I wasn't actually planning on doing this unboxing video. I kind of posted on Instagram asking anybody if they would even like to see one. And a couple of people said yes, like literally a couple, like two. But um, <laughs> you know, it's one of those things where like, I, I don't, okay, <laughs> bear with me. I don't watch doll YouTubers almost at all. Um, I watched a handful when I was first kind of learning how to do doll YouTube. I set up my YouTube video originally for my photography business. That is a completely different world. 
Honestly, I struggled to even make videos for it because I felt incredibly insecure. When I tried to watch videos of other photographers that were very popular, they were all very young, thin, rich, beautiful, traveled a lot. All of that is not me. I'm old, I'm short, I'm kind of chunky, I'm weird looking. I mean, we're moderately comfortable, but I'm certainly not rich. And honestly, I have really bad travel anxiety. And up until like probably the last three or four years since I've been with my current husband, like I barely left the house without worrying that I was going to die, like freaking out in my head. So it just, it was never for me and I never felt like I fit in. So when I decided to do doll stuff on YouTube, I was already very nervous. Like people are going to make fun of me for my weird voice or, you know, I have, I have crooked teeth and my hair is always kind of ratty and, and weird and random colors. Like I was already worried that people were going to make fun of me for all of those things. So I was very nervous. And then I made my first video, which was an unboxing of, I think, like, Rocker Boy and Punk Girl for OMG. And I got into hair dyeing and eye swapping with Rainbow High. And that kind of blew up, which has been amazing. Like, I'm so close to 5,000 followers on my Instagram. So definitely, if you haven't followed me, give me some love over there if you have an Instagram. I'll link that down below. But yeah, so I didn't really watch doll YouTubers. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. If at any chance you guys are like, you could do this better. Please like, leave me constructive criticism, message me on Instagram, drop comments here, whatever. Like, I know somebody had said that originally I talked very low. I've got like a kind of a baby voice in person. I'm not very loud. Um, I guess sometimes I'm like if I'm excited, but yeah. So I learned to adjust the volume on my videos because someone gave me that constructive criticism and, and like helped me understand what I needed to work on. So I'm definitely accepting of that. I will say, Whenever I first started, I tried watching some doll YouTubers and most of them just weren't my vibe. There were like two or three that I really, really liked, but for the most part, like, I couldn't really get into them. Like, I know the really big names, like Claudina, like, I couldn't do all of the, the fancy makeup and the costumes and the big expensive doll room and the, you know, like, it really, it wasn't my vibe. And most of their stuff is just like rehashed speculation from Instagram. Um, so like, I didn't really feel like I was learning anything. So I kind of skipped that. Um, I've never really watched the mommy, mommy and me, mommy something. I don't know what she's called, but the older lady with the blonde hair, like I've seen her screen caps in groups where people are advertising their videos, but I don't actually, like I don't know anything about her. I've never watched like um, the doll circle. Um, I've seen some of her like screenshots from like Instagram and Facebook groups and they felt like very flashy, like very Claudina kind of stuff. So I've never really watched her. Um, but they all just kind of felt like not my vibe. Um, I tried watching one where they did an eye swap and the girl just kept burning herself. And like, I just ended up like blocking her whole chant. Like, I can't vibe with that at all. Um, who else? There are a few that I really, really liked. Um, I really love the doll boys videos. Like, I feel like his voice is very comforting and like, like his videos are really cool. Um, I absolutely am a huge fan for Beauty in the Box, uh, inside a box. Anytime I watch YouTube doll videos, I usually will watch his because they seem pretty interesting. Um, who else? There was a lady from Canada. I think her name is like Jen or something like that. I watched one of her unboxing videos. She seemed really cool. Um, and then I just followed, um, Zombie Corn, like their, their YouTube thing. I, I'm friends, like, well, following them on Instagram and I really like their, like, content. So, they have a, a recent unboxing of Jet Dawson that I'm hoping to watch, but I don't really watch YouTube to begin with. Like, when I'm uploading, I don't even watch my own videos back. Like, after I edit them, I never look at them again. So I've never watched my own videos. Um, I, I will occasionally watch, like, if I'm uploading, I'll, I'll, I'll check out a Brad Mondo video or an episode of Super Size and Super Skinny, um, stuff like that. Or, like, those TikTok things where it's, like, the hair dyeing collaborations. But I don't really, like, I'm not... A fan of YouTube like I don't really have time to just sit around and watch videos so if I'm doing this wrong let me know anyway I've talked long enough like I've wasted so much of you guys' time let me go ahead and skip to these unboxings because it's two dolls and I know it's gonna take a while why don't we check out we're gonna check out Moonlight BB first just because I've been waiting for Sunshine Girl the most and I want to save the best for last okay guys I will say that like I like her box I've never understood this like perforated cutout I guess it's so you can save the picture. It was heart-shaped on Spicy Babe and Sweets. And these guys are the BFF packs that are just like them where the boxes line up. So it forms like a big circle. But it like cuts off part of their hair. 
So I don't know. That's kind of weird. But I love that her dress looks like it's going to be really sparkly. I know I've seen some pictures of her already on Instagram. And that's the other thing. Like, I really wasn't going to make these videos because I figured, like, these dolls have been out for at least a week now. So there's probably plenty. But some folks asked me if I could specifically give my opinion. All right, so I've already cut the plastic so that I could unbox these kind of quickly. We're going to go ahead and slide her out. I will say, I've noticed on Instagram she has blue lips. I'm really disappointed. And I might repaint hers to this color pink because I think it just looks a lot better. I know that she doesn't come with pantyhose and I've actually saved a pair of Uptown's pantyhose for her. Okay, so her face is lovely. The blue, the blue lipstick isn't bad. I just feel like the pink probably would have been cuter to me. She's got like this kind of one piece jumper on. I'm going to snap her out of the box right quick and cut all this out. Okay, I just want to say like her dressing room is really, really cute. It's got the picture of her little sister and like a dress tossed over the door. Um, with, well, just lace. You can't really tell it's a dress. She's got her hanger. She's got this kind of coffin shaped mirror, which is really cool. I know some folks actually do save the boxes for like play sets. It's just not something I do because I don't have a room. So she's got the twinkling starlights, the dark roses, candles, pictures of her and her BFF. Like, honestly, the way the inside of her box looks, I kind of wish my house looked like this. Actually, my living room kind of does. It's a different color scheme, but I've got, like, the, the strange-shaped furniture, the bugs and taxidermy stuff. Like, I keep a lot of the Halloween stuff up in my house all year round. So that's the thing. I'm totally vibing right now that Michaels and Hobby Lobby have their Halloween stuff out. All right, guys. So let's check her out. Like I said, she's got this kind of bodysuit on. It's really cute. I mean, you can tell like her nails are really pretty. They're well painted. I really love OMG hands. It's one of the things that really drove me to want to collect them. Her hair seems kind of thin and scraggly, but like it's thick in the back. There's no gaps in the rooting. Like it's good. Just, like, the quality of it seems kind of funny. But maybe it just needs a wash and a restyle. I don't know that I love these curls on her head. I know that she comes with a hat that I've seen on Instagram. But you can't really, you can't really use it because of the curls. Alright, so she comes with this little striped shoe box. It's a really pretty metallic blue. She comes with her hat box. It's kind of a Tim Burton, Beetlejuice-esque striped thing going on. She is a Cancer. She comes with this very beautiful, like, silky metallic blue stand. And then she has her boutique bag, another kind of Beetlejuice-esque striped garment bag, and this really pretty, I guess, like a lace pattern. So we're going to check what's inside of those. Okay, guys, I had to set my camera up like this because my ring light broke again today. Um, Like, right as I was about to film, I stepped past it to get something and knocked it off. But I can't really hold my phone, so I've kind of got it rigged up to like hold itself together so i can film this all right we're gonna move her stand we don't need that we're gonna move her little booklet we don't need that let's check out these garment bags so this is usually a purse and yes it is this time too oh my goodness you guys it is literally a little book that says scary stories i oh and it opens can we just say i'm 100 percent in love with this purse and want it for myself like if they made this in people size i would buy it easily no questions asked all right and then let's check out her outfit we've got this bag which is always the top oh it's got a belt holding it together Can't undo that oh goodness and it's wrapped around the neck of the hanger somehow guys we're gonna take this whole thing apart to get this shirt out is it velcroed anywhere yes okay Thank goodness. The struggle. Alright, so it is a beautiful lace top. It's almost kind of metallic-y. It's not glittery like you would think from the package. Um, I suppose we could make it glittery if we wanted to. But it's actually just like a very beautiful metallic color. Like a metallic blue. With these kind of bell sleeves or bat sleeves. Alright, and then we have this. Which is like the little, like a leather, I guess like, I don't know what they're called. Garter? belt it's like a belt thing all right let's go ahead and open the next package i'm not very good at describing stuff you guys all right so next up we have an overskirt it looks to be built in with a little corset 
and then it's open and like i said i know that she doesn't have pantyhose i have a pair of spare uptown pantyhose i'm going to use on her so when we dress her that's a thing all right hat box first no shoe box first right all right shoe box first um it's size six and a half creepers so they're going to be these little platform kind of sneakers got like this big diamond paper okay you guys i just want to say this is kind of amazing they're velvet they're like so soft they're i guess like flocked but they literally just feel like little velvet creepers they're so cute they have like a tiny little blue like shoelace on them and the heels kind of a metallic blue color that's super super cute all right what else do we have we have this box Okay, there's quite a bit in here. There's another stand piece, which again, I don't even use them. Um, anything that hasn't sold, I'm going to be sending to a friend because I have no use for it. All right, she has this really hideous bucket hat that they gave her instead of pantyhose. I don't ever use these. They're really ugly, so it's just going to get tucked away somewhere. I didn't like bucket hats when I existed in the 90s. I don't like them now. Cat eye glasses, they're actually really pretty, but I don't usually use doll glasses. So they will just be like tucked away somewhere as well. All right, she's got two earrings. One is this type that like looks like an ear cuff with a chain. We've seen a lot of those in previous dolls. Same with the safety pin. We saw these in the punk dolls, like Punk Girl and Rocker Boy. And I feel like there were some other ones that had these, maybe Metal Babe or something. But we've seen those earrings before on several occasions. She also has this adorable little collar. And I think it's similar. I do believe Candylicious had one kind of like it. So right quick, I'm going to get her dressed and I'll be right back. You guys are never going to tell me that this hat makes sense. It's terrible. You have to smush her hair down and it still doesn't even fit right. It just looks lumpy. And honestly, they could have used this same amount of material pretty much to make her some tights. This was like the most wasteful use of material I've ever seen. So I'm going to leave that off because I kind of hate it. Like angry hate it. And now it's kind of messed up her hair, but like her bangs have a small amount of gel in them to keep their shape, as do her weird curly cute pigtails. I'm definitely going to wash that out. For some reason, even though her hair is like really lush and thick, it looks and feels thin and greasy. So she's getting like, as soon as this video is over, she's getting an entire hair wash and I'll post pictures of the after on my Instagram. Um, but the glasses, they're cute on her. They're not really my vibe. I don't do doll glasses, so we're going to pop those off. Do I wish that... Let's see over here. Do I wish that she had had the lighter colored lips? Yes. Um, but I don't hate the blue. I just wish it were a darker blue so that it matched everything else better. Versus being like a lighter blue and not really going well. This purse, I, I still really want one. I really, really love it. The outfit was surprisingly easy to get on. Even with my arthritis and like having fumble fingers, like it was genuinely like quick and easy to get on. The mismatched earrings have never really been my thing. Like it's weird because I wear them in real life, but like I don't like them on dolls. Sorry. Her bangs being up like that was bothering me. Um, but the outfit is cute. I really hated the bare legs. So like I said, I stole some uptown girl pantyhose. Um, I've seen other people use the ones that come with, I think, Fame Queen and they look really good. But yeah, overall, she's really cute. Like, I love the dress. It feels really kind of luxurious. It's wonderfully, beautifully lacy and intricate and delicate. Like, I I honestly love it. I don't necessarily love the undersuit that goes with all of it. I might try to play around and see if I can find something better suited. The shoes, super cute. I love everything about her. But there are some things that would change. Like, I don't hate anything, but, like, I'm not, like committed necessarily all right let's go ahead and open sunshine girl now. okay so even though i used to be goth um i will say that out of the two sunshine girl is absolutely the one that i thought was like going to be my favorite i'm really excited about her yeah so anyway i've already kind of cut her box open too um snapped the little plastic thing on the side just so we can pull it out all right, give me a second. Okay, I just want to say the little inside liner is so cute. I didn't even know, like, I didn't pay attention to these, but it says today's forecast, sunny with a chance of good vibes. 
That's really cute. And as for the doll herself, honestly, she lives up to the hype. She's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I love her underwear set. I just love her little face. I love her little pink nails. I love that her scrunchies are actual material, like usable non-plastic scrunchies. Um, she's got little butterflies in her hair. So I'm going to pop her and her goodies out of her box right quick so that we can explore them. Okay, so again, her dressing room has her little sister. And I don't collect the tots, so like I don't know the little sister's names. Funny enough, it has like the same partial, partial dress hanging over the edge. The inside hanger. Her mirror is just kind of a random shape. It's not really anything kind of specific. I will say, as far as her little room goes, sometimes these are so cute. Like the one from Midnight BB that like... I honestly feel bad kind of tossing the boxes. Hers doesn't really speak to me except for these macrame plant hangers. I honestly just want to go buy some and dye them to look like this so that I can put a lot of my plants kind of up on their hooks. That's, you know, that's goals now. Okay, so out of box, they rubber banded her hair to her arm, which is kind of weird, but I'll get that off in like a second. Again, her hairstyle from the top. You can see the little fishtails left over from the braids. Now, this is a weird thing, because, like, I can see scalp already, you guys. I will say, her hair feels thick and luxurious, but, like, if you pull it up, there are definitely some pretty big bald spots, which is really weird, because Midnight BB had no bald spots, but her hair looked thin and greasy. So, I mean, that's kind of wild. All right, I'm going to put my camera back on the tripod right quick. Oh, and she is a Taurus. So, she is bullheaded. <laughs> anyway, um, her stand is a beautiful baby pink, by the way. I'm keeping this. I don't normally keep the stands. I either sell them or give them to friends. Um, I don't keep the brushes at all. They usually go in the trash. But I will say it's unusual. Her brush is yellow and her stand is pink. Whereas with Midnight BBs, hers actually matched her stand perfectly. So, that was kind of curious. But I'm going to pop this on the tripod and then we'll get to opening stuff. Okay, so her underwear set is really cute. There's actually just like this tiny little piece of lace kind of peeking off the top. It's got these adorable little rhinestone pink buttons. Um, I honestly really love her underclothes. I will say, like where they banded her legs, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it definitely left a mark on both legs, like right around the ankles. That's kind of annoying. I don't know if it's from the banding though. Like it's so even and pretty much matched on both legs. That's really weird. Anyway, so we have a purse bag. We're going to go ahead and tear that open. What do we have here? I don't think it's going to top Midnight BBs. Actually, it's cute. It's, it doesn't top Midnight BBs, but it's cute. So it's really metallic, and I don't know if you guys can read it, but it says, Be Back in 15 BBs. And it's got like a little fish and a seashell. Sorry, like I know it's like kind of hard to see with the metallic shine. Um, oh, there we go. And then you can see it's got like metal studded handles. It's a really cute kind of glittery yellow color. So that's really nice. I kind of really love yellow and pink together. Um, so I thought this was like a really nice touch for her. All right, so we have our two garment bags. One is kind of like this cool kind of vibe pattern. Um, and then this one's got kind of like painted rainbow thing going on, like waves. Um, and then she has her shoe box, which is a six and a half, and it says roller skates. It's got like a yellow box, pink top, really cute. The hat box is pink box, purple top. So I love that they kind of mix matched all of her colors in all of this. All right, I guess we will we'll go and start with her clothing first. We'll start with this garment bag, the smaller one of the two. Like, honestly, although the packaging is so beautiful, I feel, like, genuinely guilty for throwing it away. But I have no room for this whatsoever. I'd actually sold all of them for a long time. Like, people just buy, like, bags of, like, 20 of these. Um, but lately, I've just been tossing them because I don't have the energy for all of that mess. Alright, so she comes with this adorable minty green hoodie. It's got, like, these kind of shiny fabric pockets. It's very, very soft fleece. Like, it's really nicely made. I mean, I kind of would want one, honestly. It's got the faux zipper on it, little faux zip thingies. All right, and then we've got this bad boy, which are these jeans that I honestly 
really already hate. I've seen them in the promo pictures. Not a fan of them at all. So they have like the very current popular hip cutout going on, which does not bother me. Um, and honestly, the belt, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's very glittery and it's got these little pink snaps on it. But it's this, it's the way they're made, like very wide leg boxy looking. So I'm going to be honest with you, more than likely, much like Lone Stars, that these are getting cut off into shorts because this is so ugly and it like irks me. All right, so in the shoe box we have, what do we have? Really pretty like yellow sunburst paper. So we have these adorable skates. They are they have that kind of same rainbow like pattern and pearlescent pink wheels. They're nice soft yellow plastic with little painted details on the front. I'm gonna tell you guys, I really did not love um roller girls or roller chicks skates at all. But these, these I love. These I'm gonna be proud to put on her. Like they fit her whole entire thing i don't know i love everything about her i feel kind of about her the way that i did about um sweets where like everything about her was perfect well except for the pants all right so now we have the hat box um i don't usually keep doll glasses but i'm keeping these these are beautiful aviators that are pink and gradient blue like they're two different colors they're silver framed i love these they're staying Alright, we have another stand piece, which again, I don't even use, but I'm keeping her stand because I like it. And then we have a handful of jewelry. We have here a little heart collar, which I think we've seen this... Who is it on? Was it on Punk Girl or one of the... One of the remixes, maybe? But we've seen this before, and it's just like a very bright pink plastic with a, a silver metallic heart in it. I really like it. I don't even care if it's a reused piece. Um, and then she's got these kind of unusual hoop earrings that are really pretty. I'm not really sure what this thing on the top is supposed to be like or what it's about, why it's got the little ball on it, but I do like these. So I'm going to dress her right quick and then be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, she is all dressed and I just want to say, like, I do love her. There are definitely good parts to her outfit. So those pants aren't it. Um... The hoodie is cute, the underclothes are cute, the choker is cute, the glasses are cute, the purse is cute, the earrings are cute, the hair with the butterflies in it is all cute, but I feel like it doesn't all really go well together, if that makes sense. I don't know what it is. Like, glasses off, because I love them, but they don't really match her. It helps. These pants, first of all, I just want to say, they were super hard to get on. Like, they did not want to go over her hips. Um... It made her underwear ride up, which I guess they're supposed to be down to fill like the little empty pockets with color of the cutouts. This belt had slid out through one of the belt loops and trying to put it back through without breaking this thin belt material or these very, very thin kind of tattery belt loops was a pain in the butt. And they don't even fasten all the way in the back. Like they are way too tight. So I might have just gotten like a rough BB. I don't know. But I just want to, like, I hate these pants. They're definitely getting cut off into shorts. I hate the flare. Honestly, I think if they had been kind of more fitted around the bottom, I could deal with them because the color isn't bad. But considering how miserably hard they were to get on, like, it took me, like, a full, like, five or six minutes. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan. So, overview of the two of them. I will say, best hair goes to Sunshine Girl, bald spots are not, because Midnight BB, like, her pigtails aren't even even, and her hair is just, like, so stringy and greasy looking, which I guess, I mean, she's goth, so maybe, but I'm just kidding, you guys, I used to be goth, and, like, I didn't have stringy hair, but whatever, so, yeah, Sunshine Girl wins in hair, as far as makeup goes, I prefer Sunshine Girl's face, but I love Midnight BB's too, so I'm gonna give that a tie, um, as far as accessories go, again, I want to give it a tie because I like both of their chokers. I like both of their earrings, sort of. Actually, no, I like Sunshine's better. But Midnight BB's purse wins it, you guys. As far as accessories go, Midnight BB wins that one. As far as clothing goes, even though I was mad that they didn't actually give her tights and I had to put, like, some of my own on there, or, like, some that I had 
previously. Minette Baby's clothes win. I don't necessarily love the undersuit, but it's still better than these pants. It took me like five seconds to dress her versus like five minutes, and there was no struggle with her. Her clothes went on really, really easily, which is not what you'd expect, right? Like out of the two of them. So out of the two, Midnight BB wins for clothes. As far as shoes go, the roller skates are cute. I love the color, but these creepers, like these velvety soft creepers, 100% win. As much as I hate to say it, because to me, Sunshine Girl is overall prettier, if I had to pick a winner, it's probably Midnight BB. I do feel like she has more going for her in terms of accessories and clothing and shoes and her makeup is really nice. If honestly it weren't for her hair and that stupid bucket hat, I would call her perfection. Absolutely. I do again wish she had the lighter lips, but I don't hate the blue lips at all. Sunshine Girl, we're going to adjust these pants, but everything else on her is absolutely perfect to me. Like I love her. It's just that she's much harder to dress because of these pants. So just something to keep in mind, you guys, especially like if you're like me and you have arthritis or carpal tunnel and dressing dolls is already a struggle. That's a thing. Okay, you guys, so there you go. There is my comparison. You see who my true love is. I love them, honestly, both. I would say if you have to choose between which one to get first, it really is based on like your aesthetic preference. Um, but they're both really gorgeous. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, like I said, it was kind of an impromptu one. I still plan on doing a hair dye video really soon. Possibly more unboxings. I really, like, <sighs> gosh, I should probably watch YouTube and like, I just, I can't bring myself to do it. Like, I'm just not interested. But anyway, so yeah, I hope you guys liked that video and like, I hope you'll follow me on Instagram um, and check out stuff there. Obviously, I keep breaking ring lights, so pop over to Instagram and join my doll sales. Like, I sell custom dolls, like, tons of extra doll clothing, etc. Um, I obviously need the money to buy a ring light that's not going to break every, like, two weeks, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, I will see you guys next week. Well, later this week for that uh, hairstyling video. And, yeah, if you like this video, like, like, subscribe hit the notification button for the bell or whatever i don't even know all of it anyway i think i was supposed to say that at the beginning like i really do because people probably stop watching by now but like whatever um yeah so i'll see you guys next week thank you for joining me i hope you guys enjoyed this uh unboxing video and yeah